How are you all doing around here off customs? A uh, few more jollies. Getting really fragmented. Because I'm doing days and not doing days and doing bits and not doing bits. But I've strung together some nice, exciting bit of this that I knew this and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. What we have is uh, I'm stripping this FLH down and I need to pop the clutch off but I don't want to undo the adjuster nuts and have it all come apart. What I do on mine is I've got a washer that fits over this and it's got that hole in the centre to take the adjuster screw and then I put the, the nut back on and the nut catches it and compresses the springs. Et voila, you can lift it all off as one. Unfortunately, I can't find it. It's been a while since I've had my clutch off mine, and I've come to do this and I've lost it. So let's pop over to the uh, Harrison lathe and get one spun up, eh? I thought I'd make a forever tool and if I need to take Steve's clutch off or my clutch off or anyone else with a shovel their clutch off in the future we'll have a tool for doing it won't we so I've got this bit of stainless and it's about right on the OD I've not really got to touch that but I've got to I've got to step this down to uh, one 0.45 inches so one inch 450 thou and that'll pass through the pressure plate um, and then we've got a stick and hole through it that's got to be 3 8 clearance so I'll make it M10 or 10 mil sorry and uh, then we need to pot it off leaving ourselves a bit of a flange I'm gonna go a quarter of an inch for through the pressure plate and then 150 thou to make the bit that's uh, on the outside I reckon that'll be bob on so we'll go then I've no idea what grade of, grade of stainless steel this is, <coughs> but it machines quite freely. I, I guess I'd say it's 303, so what I've done, I've put a centre drill in and now I've, I'm going straight in with the 10mm. I don't see the need to put a pilot in because this just cuts lovely look, which is slowed it down a little bit, dab of oil, and away she goes. Okay, so we're back onto machining proper. Bit of tonning now, as my mate Mr. Douglas says. I'm just going to touch off just a little, and I'm going to take a slight cut just to true this up. So, I think that's interrupted. I don't think we're quite there with that, but it'll do. There we go. Just a little more. We'll set our scale to zero on the cross slide and get that a measure we know we want see how what it is 1.45 and we're on 1.75 so we set a difference off okay so we touched off on the face as well we've skimmed down the outside measured Seeing the depth of cut that we need to bring it to size. Now we've touched on this face, and I'm going to use my dial indicator on my stop that's just out of shot down there. You can't see it, but 
I've shown it in other videos and I'm going to wind it on the required depth which is quarter of an inch, six mil. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can make a mark, a little witness mark. And we can start turning in earnest. Bastard, they come off hot. And a final lighter cut to finish, and then we'll check for size. There we go. And we are looking for 1.45 inches. So we've got done even making his oh it's on the wrong shirt of up 1.453 that'll do me three thou over don't think we need to worry about that so I'll go ahead and just deeper that centre out like that break this edge with my file I actually I'm going to put a bit of a chamfer on. So forget how fire work, we will just have this out of the way. We'll use my chamfering tool. And we'll chamfer this one. Like that. And we'll chamfer this one. Like that. And then we're ready to part it off. So I'll uh, put a razor blade against the work, against the shoulder, and then I can feel when my parting tool clears it, yeah, by moving it backwards and forwards, and we're just catching it there. So a little bit more and we're free. And then I can use my uh, carriage stop, the dial indicator, to wind the tool down as deep as I want it to go. So we're going about an eighth of an inch, so three millimeters, which is there. Now, I know that this parting tool won't go deep enough to uh, clear the part, if you so to speak. So I'll go as deep as I can, and then we'll have to saw it off either in the... <coughs> Excuse me. Either in the power saw or by hand. So we spun that round and uh, spun that round, see what I did there. And I'm just going to clean up the face. Bit of a speed skater, I call that, as you wobble it in. And now we're away. Just check that. Uh, yeah, that'll do, wouldn't it? Just deeper the hole. Get in gear, you bastard. Slow it down in with a deburring tool. And I just want to break that edge. But I don't want to go in with a file because it's fucking close to the chuck. So what I do is go back with this humongous looking chamfer tool and try and use it delicately. A bit like using a uh, chainsaw. I ain't going to get that. Hold on then. I have to switch round because the tool's chipped on the side that I want it I can't reach the job so what have we got let's see if we can get him in this yeah easy just a touch just that look there you go sorted job's right here's the part look 
and that goes over this adjuster screw and then catches the basket the pressure plate sorry and we can put the adjuster nut on and then we can spin it up a bit excuse me why do it with one hand oh, if I get the right socket hold on a sec so we can knock this in a little bit look and that will compress the springs and then we can take these adjuster nuts off and remove the clutch without upsetting how it's set up so it's a spring about it's a clutch spring compression tool like that job's a good one Okay, so we've run into a problem. We've got the clutch stripped out, but we can't get the front compensator nut undone. Very, very common problem. Um, it's left hand thread, really eye talk, and it's on a spring as well. It's compensator, it's got a bit of a cush drive thing going on there. I need a three quarter drive impact wrench, really, which I've not got. Um, other problem is this rear engine bolt, because I've not got the primaries, can't get the primaries apart. I can't get on the nut on the bottom in the last bolt, this bolt in the engine to the frame. Um, many, many years ago, I came up with this solution, this very same problem. Um, and you can just about, the, the problem is I can't show you the nut, but it's right down there and you can't get a socket on it because the uh, engine case is jut out in the way so you have to drop do a drop down like a mission impossible with this special application spanner and uh, try and work at it that way so we can't get the compensator not undone uh, I've requested help so some big kits come in tomorrow probably to work that off I'm going to try and get it out in one unit and clear the forwards off take a chain off which I'm just in the process of splitting look we just grind the tips off these pins and then knock them through. Um, chains being replaced anyway, but you could put a split link in if you wanted, or a soft link. Um, and hopefully that should be about the last thing that's tethering it in. So forwards out of the way, chain out of the way, we'll get a sling on it, and we'll try and get it out in one go. So, uh, rather than wait impatiently for a, a high torque three quarter drive impact wrench, to try and get a front compensating off the shovel head I'm stripping down. I'm going to make a tool. I've got three quarter drive extension, so that'll fit in the socket. And I've got an old half inch drive impact socket. I'm going to clean and prep the two surfaces, this surface and that surface. And we're going to weld them together. Not ideal, but worth a go. Now so again, it's a quick clean up. I would imagine it's made out of quite forgiving stuff because it's meant to be using an impact wrench, you know, so I can't see it oh, you know, I can't see it being too tough, otherwise uh, it's a break. Change the drive round or something. Change the gear. And there oh, we go. So rub a bit off there, clean that up. That's lovely, that's soft that is, that'll, that'll weld. So, put a chamfer on it. A good chamfer. Me chamfer tool. Sparks may fly. You see that? There you go. Look at that, beauty. Hmm. Change tool, hold on. Go for the 45 option. 45 degrees got to be better.
Yeah. Oh, it's a... Now we're doing the same with the um, extension. This will be interesting. I chose an extension over a socket because the sockets aren't impact sockets, so I think that they might be a bit too tough to weld properly. This is probably drop forged and won't weld as well as I'd like, but worth a go, you know. It's worth sacrificing a couple of bits of kit to get a job done today rather than waiting. So, oh, look, that's tough stuff that is. Just take a gentle cut. So this will give us a problem if anything's going to when it comes to the weld. It's just look, that's really hard. The chips are actually glowing as they come off. Look, look at that. Woo. Boom. So let's weld it up and see what happens. What I've done, what I've ended up doing, still can't get a compensator nut off. I tried my handy dandy adapter and that worked really well, but just, I can't shift it. So what I've done, I've used the trusty Coventry Fabricated. This was made by Wayne or Kev from uh, Mercia NCC many, 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 many years ago. And it lets you pull your clutch basket off um, with the primary still on. No, sorry, with the outer still in place. That's what I'm getting at. Because it goes over these three top studs. So, long story short, I've managed to pop the clutch using the handy dandy uh, Mercia shovel head clutch puller and slip the chain. So now I can get his primary case off if the bolts all come all out. And uh, the engine and gearbox are out. Job done. So, we've popped the uh, clutch. Managed eventually to prise the primary and gearbox apart after we stripped out the starter assembler. It proved a bit of a hunt. And now we've just got the lump to lift out. And that is job fucking done. So there we go. Farewell. Off to its new forever home shortly with uh, all of the accoutrements. And you'll have to stay posted for updates on the actual all new, all singing, all dancing Steve's Shovelhead project. See you later. <laughs>